Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you uh, how to fix enable to determine the relationship represented by nav navigation application user appointments for the type I collection appointments either manually configure the relationship or not mapped attribute you can remove this uh, error during the migration in ASP.NET Core. So uh, if you have a navigation property and you want to not map to with your database just I want to say that if you are not uh, uh, not want to uh, add this properties uh, navigation property in your uh, database table then you can use not mapped attribute uh, in place uh, in front of uh, your uh, navigation property in your model class so here we have a not mapped property just add a uh, just add before your navigation property so not mapped not mapped in the appointments as well as payroll so here we have the bill and you can say that in the contact there is a no navigation property with the i collection so here we have so just click and not mapped property so schema not mapped hospital info there is a no uh, yeah here we have a i collection room with the contact detail so one by one you have to use not mapped attribute in the relationship and remove your uh, navigation property just not mapped with your database table so with the insurance we here we have a table that lot is like the collection i collections so just remove by using not mapped attribute so one by one you have to add or uh, where your navigation properties exist in the model so here we have also with the some navigation property so use not mapped property and just resolve that namespace like uh, component model dot data annotations dot schemas so here we have not mapped and is all data data notation dot schema not there not there and in the rooms also not there in the supplier we have so just use not mapped okay and the last one is the test supply test price is not there so just after that use not mapped property uh, added net mapped again you have to create database uh, again you have to up apply the migrations and you can see that your problem will be resolved easily by using not mapped data notation attribute thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core